This is my student support system. Keep watching, keep learning. Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about Bohr committee. In many times in examination, you get a short note on Bohr committee. So what is this? We will discuss today in English. And if you want to study in Hindi, you can click on I button and you can get the link for Hindi lecture. Let us start. What is Bohar Committee? The Bohar Committee was set up by government of India in 1943. And this committee is also known as the Health Survey and Development Committee. So in examination, you may get a question or short note on the Health Survey and Development Committee or Bohar Committee, anything. It was the health survey taken by the development committee to assess the health condition of India. The committee worked under Joseph William Bore who acted as the chairman of this committee and this committee consisted of pioneers in the healthcare field who met frequently for two years and submitted their report in 1946. What are the recommendations of Bore Committee? The two particular recommendations of the committee dealt with the establishment of primary health centers in India and creation of a major central institute for health and medical education and research in India. Based on these recommendations, the government of India established first few primary health centers in 1952 and these were one PHC in Najafgad, Delhi, one in Singur, West Bengal and in one in Ponimeli, Tamil Nadu and in 1956 Government of India established All India Institute of Medical Science in Delhi. Other important recommendations of Bore Committee includes integration of preventive and social uh, services, preventive and curative services at all health care levels in India and three months compulsory training uh, in preventive and social medicine for all medical trainings and creation of primary health centers in two stages. In first stage, it recommended that there it should be a shorter measure where one PhD should be opened for 40,000 rural population in India with two medical officers, four PHN, one staff nurse, four AM, and 14 other four class employees. And in stage two, primary health centers should be opened for 10 to 20,000 population in a rural area with 70 bedded hospital consisting of sufficient staff. Although the recommendations did not form the part of comprehensive health plan or national health policy, but still it showed a roadmap for the health system of development in India. Thank you students for watching this video. You can subscribe the channel for latest updates and for making your notes, you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.